Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm live from the UK, from Gloucester. And today we've got an interesting topic. We've got our topic, uh, your comment on health versus wealth. So I'm looking forward to see um, your comments and opinions today. So let's start off with uh, Arush. Arush, can you please introduce yourself and tell us about your day? My name is Arush, I'm studying class 4F. Mm -hmm. Full name is Ali Public School, Mega City, Kolkata, and my favorite hobbies are playing singing and dancing. Okay, very good. And what did you do with your day today? In the morning at seven o'clock, then after that I was playing. Mm -hmm. Then after that, like like uh, day after yesterday, my mother's new phone came. So like on that day I was I was like one day I was absent. Uh huh. So on that day, like my mother's new phone came, so I was really excited. So we were just setting up the phone, and so it took us one hour to do. I see. Okay. And then, and then after that in the morning, I I just, I just downloaded some games because I asked from my mother and father can I download some two to three games so, so they gave me permission so I have downloaded two games only and I am thinking I should download another my favorite game. I see. Okay. After Very that, <laughs> I installed both the games. Then after that, I. I get ready for my online class at 9.30 because my exams are over and the results are also here like like uh, maths and computer about 20 out of 20. And how did you do? How, how did the, how did your exams go? I'm nice but some of the marks came but some of them not. Oh okay and the marks that came? That the marks that came in were they computer, good? Like computer came in, it was 20 out of 20 because it, the full marks was wow, 20. Wow, very good. Maths, I think so it was 20 full marks. And science was a little bit, I just made two, like uh, 20 out of 17 because I make some mistakes in the filling the blanks and the question answers. Uh huh. Okay. And then after that, I checked, after that, I checked all my exam results. Then the most I got maths and computer because computer, I'm engineer in computers and like in electrics only. And, okay. and like maths I know and ma'am ma taught us also how to make those maths, maths. So right now, new chapter started of our maths, which is grams and kilograms. Okay. Like it looks, it looks hard to learn. I see, okay. And what do you think about today's topic? So can you tell us, what do you think about um, health and wealth? What is your opinion? Health versus wealth? Health is better than wealth because with good health, we can earn money, but with bad health, we can lose all the wealth. Okay. Okay, so so can you expand a bit more? Can you tell us a bit more about your opinion and why you think that? Health is more important than money. I can earn money. I am healthy. Okay. Okay, and do you know of any stories um, where health was more important than wealth? A healthy wealth is money. A healthy person survives more happy and peaceful life. Yes. Okay, so it's better to be healthy and lead a peaceful life than to be wealthy. Yes, ma'am. Okay, but sometimes I think that being wealthy, now I'm going to give you a little argument, okay? So sometimes I think that being wealthy can help you in being healthy, because let's face it, to eat healthy, you need to have money. To, to get medicines, you need to have money. So the wealthier you are, 
the more likely it is that you are healthy. So what do you think? Like snacks. Like you can eat snacks like once a week or once a day. Because yeah. if you will eat the, 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 like if you will eat five years only junk food. So, so what will happen? Just think. You so look, if you not fat. So junk food, junk food is usually um pretty cheap. Junk food we don't need to have of money. So what do you think? Like six days I eat healthy food and only one day I eat junk food. Yes, but if once a week only. Yes, but that's okay. That's not my argument. My argument is that if you are wealthy, okay, you have a better chance of eating healthy food and of being healthy if you are wealthy, if you have money. Because if you if you don't have money, you you probably you probably need to buy cheaper food and junk food, which it which is quite cheap. So what what is better though do you think health or wealth which would you say like comes my, first? i can earn more money like doing some course mm -hmm. and then i am healthy slowly slowly then i will also get money mm -hmm. and i will also healthy but, and i will also get and I will eat healthy food. And so okay. right now, I, I have stopped eating junk food once a week because it, because there are lots of cases of coronavirus. So that's why I have stopped eating junk food. So whenever outside food, so whenever I want to eat burger or french fries, so my mom makes at home only. Because there are lots of cases of coronavirus still going on. Okay. Like, like in okay, so you think that first you need to be wealthy and then you need to be healthy along with the wealthy. Yes? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, so they kind of work hand in hand to, for you. Okay, we got there. I helped you out a bit there. Um, okay, good. Let's see what uh, your, your, your friends have to say about this. Let's start off with Amit. Hi, Amit. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Hi, Amit. Hello, ma'am. Hi, can you please introduce yourself and tell us a bit about your day? Hi, my name is Amit. I'm a college student. I love to travel and to ride bikes and going to many places and meet amazing people. Uh, talking about my day, it was pretty good. I have uh, worked out so much in my previous left out work and I've completed it. And yes, I have met my friends. It was a good day for me, I think. So. Okay, very good. And what is your opinion, health versus wealth? In my what? opinion, mm -hmm. health versus wealth. Uh, uh, basically, we should first focus on our health because if our health is good, then only we should focus to make our wealth. And if we are not healthy, then it is not possible for us to make, make to be wealthy. Because uh, if we are healthy, we would uh, we will we would be able to perform our work in a better way. In compared to if we are sick, if we are not healthy, if we are not strong, so that we cannot perform our daily tasks. So how can we we be healthy? I mean, so sorry, wealthy. So in my opinion, you should be uh, first healthy, then you should go for a wealthy and. And it can go seven questions as uh, together also because if I'm trying to be a wealthy person, then why why would I not try to become a healthy person? So in my opinion, you should try to become healthy first, then you should go for the wealthy one. Okay. Okay. So healthy first and then wealthy. And what do you think about the situation? Because 
I've I've had this this topic in similar ways uh, other times, and it's quite interesting when you think about it from the other way around. If you are wealthy, then you can afford to be healthy. You can pay medical bills. You can uh, you you can buy more um, healthier options. Uh, so, what do you think? Because you know, sometimes to be healthy, you also need to be wealthy. Or do you think it can work? It, it works more if you are healthy and then try and be wealthy. What what's more important? No, you are, you are right. Because if I want to be healthy, I need some. I need good food. I need a good equipment to make my workout good. If I am so that to get development and mm -hmm. be healthy again. So in order to be healthy, you should be as well as healthy too. Because if you are only healthy and you don't have any wealth or any money, then it means that you are going to be sick or if you are going to be having some disease, then you are not able to survive at that moment. So you need to be a wealthy some moment. And you need mm -hmm. to be wealthy as well as that too. Okay. Okay. Um, so it's it, it can really go either way. It can go as I said, where like you um, and and you agreed that you need to be wealthy at one point um, to be healthy, but you also need to be healthy to be wealthy because without being healthy, then you can't work. Yes. Uh, in, uh... At that point, I would say means you can't live. Um, you can't rely at one at a time. You should be working on both the parts equally. Means if you are working on your wealth part, then it's not like that. You should forget about your health part and leave mm -hmm. it alone. So it is like that. If you are working on your wealth part, you should work on your health part too. So that if you are healthy, you can make more and more wealth. And if I am only the wealthy one and I am not taking good care of my health so again I am going to fall sick and I am having diseases or it's going to cause trouble for me so at every point of time you should take care of both the parts as well as the health part as well as the wealth part if you if we left behind any of the part behind us then it's going to cause us a lot of problems that's all okay very good excellent okay thank you very much uh, let move on to Kritika Sangotra. Hello, Kritika. Yes, ma'am. Hello, lovely to have you in class. Can you please um, introduce yourself and tell us a bit uh, about your day? How did you spend your day from the moment you woke up? Yes, ma'am. Um, I still Kritika Sangotra. I'm from Jammu and Kashmir. Mm -hmm. So I love to do painting and I love to do yoga. Mm -hmm. As a health, it's very good to do yoga. So today I had my classes in the morning, which was really good. And just like, as always, the days. Okay, good. And uh, did you? Why is it that you love to do yoga so much? I don't know. Maybe due, uh, maybe uh, due to my flexibility, I I had like uh, some prizes in yoga. Maybe that motivated me to do yoga. Like every morning, I give thirty minutes to yoga. Okay. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Okay. So, what do you think about today's question? Um, health versus wealth. What is your opinion? What I think is that uh, should give much priority to health because uh, without our health, wealth is of no use. Without without our health, we uh, we can't use the money to do what we wished mm -hmm. for. For example, I'm having uh, people they smoke. In my in my far relation, there is someone who ha who has like 
big property but uh, he had cancer due to because he smoked a lot oh dear he lost one of his kidney so all his wealth went in vain okay and and, and so what what do you think um um you you think that that health is the most important then yes ma'am okay and where does wealth come in do you think you need to be wealthy though to be healthy what do you think i think first we should focus it can go in hand in hand doesn't mean that we have to totally focus on health only but mm -hmm. uh, to be healthy we also need wealth for better food for better nutrients we also mm -hmm. need wealth so it go in hand in hand okay okay very good excellent okay um brilliant and do you do you have do you have any experience um yourself as well have you seen another experience about health and wealth going hand in hand i know you told me about family member do you have another experience to share with us yes ma'am like uh, my father only he's earning also he uh, he is a service man and uh, by side by side uh, in the evening he also focus on the like he goes to gym mm -hmm. so, so he is focusing on the health also okay very good excellent okay thank you very much let's move on to uh, samikia hello ma'am hello samikia Ma'am, um, I am Samikya Sambardhana, and I am living in Odisha, Bharampur, and I like to do drawing. Mm -hmm. And my in today's uh, uh, my day uh, go very good. Uh, means today my day go very good, and my class started at seven forty and ended at twelve thirty. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, then I do some lunch. at 1 o'clock and and then i go to sleep uh, means i sleep some time for so uh, for a while i sleep and then i do my homework and after that i play uh, for with my bro with my brothers i play some time for some time i play and then my tuition go uh, tuition starts Okay, very good, excellent. Then, now it's going up. What's go? What's what are you going to do next? Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> what are you going to do next after class? After class, I will go and eat. Once din, I will do dinner. Uh mm huh. -hmm. And after that, I will do my school work. Uh, the homework that I have given, I have to write notes, and I will go for sleep. Okay, excellent. Okay, so today's question is health ver versus wealth. What is your opinion? Health and wealth. What's your opinion about them? For me, first I want to say that health means a person's mental and physical condition, and wealth means uh, about our money. What uh, the the value of anything that we have is. in uh, depended on money so it can be said that wealth is about money okay. wealth is money and uh, health is always related to wealth if health is not there then wealth is also not without health else is not okay. so for so in so that's why come on what you want to say uh, so So you said that without wealth there is no health. Yeah. Okay. And what do you think about the other way round? Without health there is no wealth. Okay. Oh, uh, can you say repeat the question? Yes. Ma'am, repeat the question. Okay. So you told me that without health, sorry, without uh without wealth there is no health. No wealth. Yeah. Okay. Which means without without health there is no wealth. 
without health there is no wealth okay so yeah, is it both ways do you think that without health there is no wealth and without wealth there is no health yes, you think it's both yeah. ways as well mm -hmm. yeah they are interrelated they're interrelated okay because so, uh, there is a hmm? proverb too there is a proverb too that health is wealth okay and because what we are Yes, yes carry on, carry on, carry on. Okay, okay ma'am. Uh, I want to say that if we, if our, if we are not good, so we can, uh, so we can't go for work and we can't get our wealth. If, uh, if we are not good, if our health is not good, so we can't go for work and uh, we can't also get our wealth. Okay, and. What do you think about? Um, do you have any any, uh, any personal experiences? For me, if for uh, in school, uh, for me, uh, if I am not good, uh, if I, I have a fever, means so uh, my health is not good, so I can't go to school. And my for me, my wealth is my education. Mm hmm. So when I when I get fever, so I can't go to school. So for that, health is most important than wealth for my experience. Because when I am not uh, when I got fever, so I can't go to school and can I can got my wealth. That is my education. Okay, very good. Okay, so for you, it it is very much um, health and wealth. Yeah, are very much interchangeable, but they are. They are just as important as, as one another. Can you can uh, again tell? They are just as important as one another, health and wealth. Yeah, ma'am. Okay, very good, excellent. So let's let's now have a little look. What I'd like to do in the last five minutes is just have a little look. Yeah, ma ma Sorry. Wait a little bit. Ma'am, my net is not coming. Can you wait two minutes? Yes, of course. Um. Yes. Hello. No, I think she asked for two minutes, like a break. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. I thought she just wanted two minutes to log back in. Okay. So until she comes back, um, there is an interesting article that I found, uh, and I wanted to share share this little uh, title with you, where it said, "Health is wealth." Um, so being in order to health, being healthy is also uh, being being wealthy. And in fact, studies have shown that there is a positive correlation between good health and higher income. So positive correlation means that the healthier you are, the more income you will have. So people who earn more money tend to have less disease and better health overall. Poor health and higher rates of disease are associated more with those in lower income groups. Um, so it is, it, it is pretty much, uh, as we said, in order to be wealthy, you must be healthy, because if you're not healthy, then you can't work to be wealthy. Uh, but of course, there's also a bit of um, being wealthy does help you to be a bit healthier. Uh, but I think the shift, personally, uh, I think that the shift is very much health first then then going into more in, in into wealth uh there, there's more there's more shift that way that you need he health is more important uh is what i'm trying to say so health is is a bit more important than being wealthy um so health is wealth uh but also there is a bit of a shift where being a bit wealthy does help you to be healthy, but I think the other way around is slightly stronger. Uh, of course, this is up for debate, and it's kind of uh, like who came first, the chicken or the egg? 
Uh, so it's it's very it's it's very much up for debate, but there is a, a positive correlation in that. Um, what I would like now, since we've got Kritika, Arush, and Amit, um, do you have any last words to say, guys? Any anyone wants to add one more one more thing? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Oh, okay, Kritika. No. Would you like to add anything else? No, ma. Okay, and Amit, would you like to add anything else? No, ma. Okay, very good, guys. Okay, so just as a finish, um, I'd like to share with you um, a little, a, a little extract from Forbes magazine, and it is the deep connection uh, between your health and wealth. And it was from the ancient, there's a quote from the ancient Greek physician Herophilus. And what he said was, when health is absent, wealth becomes useless. And that is absolutely true when we think of when someone is terribly, terribly sick, no amount of money really has any power or any standing whatsoever. Um, as, as we become more modernized, we tend to forget this uh, and we tend to think that money is everything. However, from what we've been through um, lately, uh, the, over this last, these last two years, I think everyone has realized that health very important for us all um so i just like like to leave you with that guys and i'd like to thank you all for your your input today hi samikia i'd like to thank you all for your input today and i hope you've all enjoyed it and i hope you have a good evening thank you all right Okay, yes, you can carry on. You can you can say, do you have anything else to add? No, just I want to say that uh, without, I mean, for me, health is more important. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay, thank you very much. Thank, <laughs> thank you, ma'am. You, and uh, have a good evening. Bye, guys. Bye, ma'am. Thank you.